Hello and welcome to Universe Sandbox 2. So I have a suggestion here asking, what if a brown dwarf passed through the solar system? Well, let's find out. But first off, I had a little message here saying uh, there was an update to Universe Sandbox 2. Apparently, if you press the home key on your keyboard, it centers on the largest object in the system. So it centers right there on the sun. Very cool. So if you ever get lost like you accidentally fly off the horizontal axis completely out of the kind of two-dimensional space and kind of get lost in the depth and you can't really find the sun you just completely misplace it you can just press home now and it'll take you right back to the sun or whatever the largest object is in the simulation at the time so very cool anyways let's go ahead and test and see what happens so a brown dwarf is going to be somewhere between 3 and 10 Jupiters in mass, would be my prediction. So let's go ahead and toss one through the solar system and see what happens. Now I don't know if there's any uh, default brown dwarfs in the game. Pretty sure these are all way too massive to be brown dwarfs. Go ahead and launch this. Pause the simulation. This is Wolf 359, which I think is technically... Yeah, it is a red dwarf star, so it has ignited fusion. It's not a brown dwarf. I think in earlier versions of the game, this was a brown dwarf, but it's certainly not anymore. And they don't really have anything that is a brown dwarf object, at least not labeled under stars. Let's go ahead and check planets. Do we have any gas giants that would happen to be brown dwarfs? I don't think so. I guess 2 mass, J2126, 8140 would technically be brown dwarfs, so we're going to go ahead and launch this through the solar system. Now, should we throw it at an... Let's throw it... Throw it on the horizontal plane. That way we can get it to massively affect the planets without pulling them all downwards. So, here goes. Let's see what effects this has on our solar system. Now, it might get laggy as the uh, brown dwarf gets closer to the solar system. It typically does as the mass of it kind of just uh, adds a lot more calculations to the game. When there's two super large masses in the solar system, each and every one of these little particles and asteroids have to kind of calculate and adjust for it. And it went really close to the sun and got ejected out. A pretty interesting result, but is that going to have any effect on the solar system and its orbits? I already see some immediate effects. Let's go ahead and pause the simulation here and let's go over to Mars real quick. Now, it's already way out here. It's probably not going to have any significant effect at this point. Go ahead and zoom in. Oh yeah, you can see Mars, I think, has uh, completely adjusted its orbit. Let's go ahead and check on Earth real quick. It's still looking pretty fine in the preview. But I think its semi-major axis definitely changed. Let's go ahead and go to Astronomical Units. A little bit closer to the sun, which means it's probably quite a bit warmer. It's fluctuating through some pretty crazy temperatures. Let's go ahead and slow this down a little bit. So you could watch the uh, climate kind of adjust as it orbits around the sun. It might be a little bit warmer because it's closer to the sun now. Look at that, it's nearly crossing paths with Venus. Uh, as you can see, I think Saturn and Uranus had some uh, pretty crazy interactions with that brown dwarf. As you can see, they are crossing orbits currently. In fact, Saturn is crossing very, very close to Jupiter, it looks like. I think things are still adjusting, though. That Saturn and Uranus pretty much cross path in their orbits. So I must have passed very close to one of these two objects. Tune is way out here in the Kuiper Belt. I don't think it was orbiting that far before. 
Uh, where's that brown dwarf? Let's go ahead and delete it just so it doesn't bog down the simulation. Once objects get, seem to get far away from their parent mass, they seem to slow the simulation down quite a bit. Very interesting. So it did have some effect on these larger gas giants way out here. As you see, Neptune's completely within the Kuiper Belt, which is probably what's slowing down the simulation now that Neptune is significantly affecting all these uh, asteroids and stuff again. In fact, the entire alignment of the Kuiper Belt is messed up. It used to be kind of a circle shape, now everything's just thrown around everywhere. Interesting. But it makes me wonder, is this possibly just due to the drift of the sun, or would it just be the interaction that that brown dwarf had? Because it certainly stirred up the entire solar system, but I don't know. Would this be what Nemesis would essentially do to our solar system? Maybe. If Nemesis exists anyways. But a pretty interesting result. I don't think anything significant is going to happen in the long term. Maybe Neptune will throw a few of these asteroids back into the inner solar system and throw some out, out of the uh, solar system. Because it's very, very within the uh, Kuiper Belt now. Pluto is still way out here. But, very cool. Anyways, I think I'm going to end the video there. If you guys liked the video, please subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you in the next video.